Hey guys, Kev here, and I had quite a colorful day of unboxing today. So let me start off with this one, because it's out of the box. I, I went to a lunch with a couple of knife buddies today. Shout out to uh, Chris and Corey. Check out Stafford's EDC over on YouTube and Instagram, and then um, Copper Nose on Instagram. So this is the Giant Mouse Ace Nibbler. Um, a good buddy uh, on Instagram, Rick, he recommended this to me. He said, you'd be surprised at how good it is, even though it's so tiny. I never picked one up because I actually handled this at Blade Show in Atlanta this year briefly, and I wasn't able to flick it, and, like, it just kind of bugged me. Um, it didn't feel great in hand. It was probably just I was standing at a booth, didn't have much time, and was kind of rushed and didn't want to you know, look like an idiot, so I didn't spend much time with it. Probably looked more like an idiot, but, you know. So I never picked one up because of that. And um, I also had found out these are in N690. So if I zoom in here, you'll see this is in N690. doesn't say N690 Co., it just says N690. I don't know what the difference is. Um, I think the Italians put the Co. at the end. Um, but basically... I finally caved because the other day I got an email from Giant Mouth said, oh, it's out in purple. And I don't know why that triggered something for me. But I looked it up and the price was $95. So this is $95. It's in N690. It's got aluminum scales, a wire clip. It's on a steel liner lock. But it's made by Riot. So you can actually get a budget Riot. This is the first budget Riot I've ever seen. So this is a budget knife from Riot. Um, you know, OEM by Riot. $95. That's impressive to me. So I picked it up and I was like, you know, I'll give it a shot or whatever. And I took it to lunch uh because it showed up right before and I basically unboxed it there and we were, you know, we were all messing around and, and I I could do this. I could flick it right handed, but I just I couldn't really get it left-handed. I kept, like, hitting my finger like this. And I just flick differently left and right-handed, I guess. When I go right-handed, I kind of spread out more, and I keep this finger very straight. So when I flick, nothing hits it, right? But left-handed, for some reason, I am kind of curling this finger, and it's kind of, you know, messing everything up, messes the angles up. So if I straighten out like I do right-handed flies out of there and i flip the clip over which helps because now i can kind of grab the clip like this and pop works really well and i'll tell you what it took about three seconds once i got home and played with it to fall in love um to the point where i'm probably after this video gonna order a second one because that's just what i do i kind of want to order the titanium one with 20 cv steel but um it has a brass backspacer. I just, I don't know. I don't like the look of that. I also don't like that it adds weight. This is 1.9 ounces, which is fantastic. The uh, titanium one with the brass backspacer, 20 CV, is 2.5 ounces. Now, there is one in Micarta with 20 CV, and that one's, I think, 2.1 or maybe something like that. has the brass backspacer again, but... At least it's still almost as light. So I'm tempted there, but I don't know if I really want my Carta on this. You know, I kind of like how this looks. Um, and do I need M390? Sorry, 20 CV on it. I mean, it's such a small little knife. I'm just going to be doing utility cutting, right? So what I think I might do is order the blue one. So um, I might just do that. They have... This awesome purple, these are the aluminum ones. They have purple, they have blue, they have a really bright, vibrant green, and they have a red. Uh, I'm not normally a red guy, and green, eh, I don't know. So I think I'll get blue, and I'll have purple and blue. That's what I'm going to do. So anyway, if you want to pick one of these up, 95 bucks over at Giant Mouse. I think some of the dealers have them too. Uh, but if you can support a brand directly... Um, they, it might cost the same, but you will be, um, 
supporting them more because you don't have the dealer margin in there. But if you want to support an American company by uh, buying through the dealer as well, that obviously makes sense as well. Just saying. I'll probably pick it up from the Giant Mouse website. So that's the Nibbler. I really like it. Um, ergonomics are super comfortable. It's Vox. I don't know how he does it. A lot of people said, I wish there was a Choil. Well, if they put a Choil in here, it's basically an Ace Riv and even smaller, which doesn't make any sense, right? So get an Ace Riv if you wanted a Choil. Um, I wish they would do a Liner Lock Ace Riv. If they brought the Ace Riv back in this configuration, I would be freaking over the moon. I love that knife. I just can't handle it left-handed. Even right-handed, it's hard with that frame lock. Um, and this is great. So, yeah, ergonomics, I kind of just rest a finger up here, and I'm good to go. And there's no jimping. I mean, it would have been cool to have some up here, but you can see they probably couldn't add it. And then they just went with this swedge, which works great. You just kind of rest right here. You can cut like that if you want. Most of the time, you're going to be in a grip like this and using that tip, right? Um, and it seems to work great. The action, I mean, it's Riot, so your detent feels money. I mean, and it's nice and strong. Yes, I can kind of fail it like this. It's not the detent. It's just, you know, it's a little bit stiff in here because... It's on bearings, but I think it's just so small and such a light blade that it's not going to free fall. But it does drop to your nail pretty good. And then a couple of shakes down. I put some KPL Heavy in there. I think it'll just keep smoothing out. You know, it's already getting smoother. And it'll just get better and better. And honestly, a knife this small, you're just going to kind of do this anyway, right? Um, so, flick's great. You can fidget with it a little bit if you really want to. Uh, one thing I want to note is the lockup on this. It's already better. It was super early when I got it out of the box uh, to the point where I was a little worried, but nothing to worry about there. It's fine. And not getting any stick. The liner is 420J, I believe. So steel. And then you have N690 on the blade, which, guys, I am on record saying it's my least favorite steel ever basically maybe next to d2 and um we'll see how it holds up i've always had it on uh italian knives so let's give it a shot here and we'll see if maybe riot's version of it is better um and i've also kind of toned down the rusting stuff over the last year so uh, maybe together those things will be uh better because i never had an issue really with the edge retention or any of that stuff it was really just the fact that it's listed as a rust proof or not rust proof as a stainless and i've had it rust real easy from italy so anyway that's the nibbler then quickly i got in this spider co like i said um a lot of color here today um this is basically the color of the uh green aluminum on the nibbler you can get this is a pair of three i already tightened the sh out of this um because i proxied this for uh eric who is in canada this is a knife joy version i'll see if i can just roll it out once for you Ugh. i tightened it down because it's easier to get it through customs and everything uh, but this is a 20 cv spiderco para three and um uh, I think, yeah, this came directly from Knife Joy. It's got a little schmutz on it there. Um, I don't know, it's G10. I guess that's just how it's going to be. But um, there you go. 20 CB blade, pair of three. Uh, this one, other than it being, you know, super stiff right now, out of the box, it was centered, which is good. And the action was okay. It was a little tight. Didn't want to swing or anything, but I think this one will break in just fine. Put a couple of my stickers in there for him. I'm going to send this off to Canada to Eric. So there's that one. And then the creme de la creme, the gold class mini Osborne. Shout out to Josh Worth. This is his knife. He had this over at Blade HQ and, um, well... I proxy for him as well. He's in Australia. 
this is what you're paying for right here, this card. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Um, but anyway, I just want to note that uh, this came from Blade HQ, and he actually put on the order, please check for centering. And it showed up uh, out of the package. So it showed up out of the, um, the little sunglass case. And um, it just, here it is. It just had a little access lock tag here. So somebody did check it. And it was off center, which is kind of hilarious to me. Now you can see it's very close to center now. Um, but that's because I took the pivot out. I cleaned all the goop in there out. Um, and then I tried to recenter it. Just, you know, ease, you know, I didn't do a lot. I just put a little pressure in the right place and everything. You can see it's over to this side. The tip is close, but again, over to this side. So. I did tune the action a little bit. Again, we're just talking about pivot adjustment here. There is a little bit of side to side, but it does swing free. So I don't know if now, because it was really stiff uh, when I first messed with it. So maybe just flicking it a few times helped. And maybe we can get it centered now. Let's just see. Uh, it's still off, but it's not bad. Now it's really stiff so let's swing it back still stiff off center see this is kind of what happens you just can't win just can't win a little bit of play and there we go so let's just leave it like that maybe it'll break in a little bit like that um I think he might have one other thing coming before I send this stuff back. So it is a little sticky on the lock, but um, I got to say overall, I actually really like this piece. At first I was like, eh, but it's cool. Now that's, that's just speaking uh, without price involved here, right? Like if we're just looking at the knife, like it's pretty cool. You got like damas steel here. I believe it's damas steel. Uh, we got these cool studs. You have titanium bolsters. Um, at least I believe so. It could be aluminum, but I believe it's titanium anodized. And then you have Arctic fat carbon on the scales, which are reversible. And you have the penis clip there. Little shake. She swings down. It has decent spring tension. So I actually like the action on this quite a bit feels pretty good uh, there you go you can one hand it I'm trying to be a little careful here it's not mine but there you go and again centering is just off to this side but it's not horrible but then again the price tag on this is seven hundred dollars so he paid $742 to ship this to my door. Then he's going to have to pay to ship it to his door. This is his first Benchmade. Josh just wanted to try a Benchmade. <laughs> and I guess he figured he'd go all out. Um, I got to say, I like the knife, actually. Um, it is sharp, by the way, too. I'm not going to test it, though. I like the knife. But I don't quite see $700 here. I mean, fat carbon is very common these days. Damage steel is common these days. But then again, you can see a something obscene company knife with these materials and it would be at least this much, right? And this is made in the United States. So I get it, but it just feels really weird to have an Axis Lock Benchmade be $700. I don't know, but it's cool. So there's the gold class. Mini Osborne, and then I had uh, my Ace Nibbler here in the purple aluminum. And just to show off the colors, we have the Paramilitary 3, or sorry, Para 3 from Knife Joy here. This is one colorful video. I'll probably do maybe a full review on this guy, maybe once I get the other one and hang out with them a little bit carry them and you know get a sense uh see if i'll keep them and all that good stuff um but i really do dig it yes it's small yes it's an adjustment so keep that in mind uh the more i'm handling this the more i'm thinking maybe i'll get that micarta one just to try it 
And then I'm like, eh, maybe I'll just get the Titania one and just call it a day, right? Just give it a shot. That's what I want. I can always... Maybe I could swap the backspacer from this to that. It would look weird with brass on here, but I don't know. Um, anyway, there you go. Let me know what you guys think down below. I love you all. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you later.